Hello friends, in this particular video lecture, we will try to understand TMN physical architecture that is telecommunication management network physical architecture. As shown in the figure that is the physical architecture of TMN, we can easily observe some blocks in the physical architecture. If we require to classify them, then there are two networks, one which is present inside this particular block or square we can say and one which is outside the square. That means physical architecture is able to connect more than one network together. So there we can say that there can be exchange of the data in between the multiple networks. If we are going to consider the different type of blocks related to the physical architecture, then we can easily observe that few blocks are same as that of the functional architecture of TMN, but few blocks are added in there. For example, operation system functional block OSF, this is same. Q adapter block, this is same. Network element block is same. Again, the network element and Q adapter blocks are there, which are same. Meditation devices block, which is same. Workstation function block, which is same. But there is one addition of block due to which functional architecture is converted or named as physical architecture. And the answer is data communication network block. Due to such kind of arrangement and use of the multiple blocks again and again, the architecture is termed as physical architecture. And now here the name of the interfaces and the show out of the interface with the help of the different type of letters is again different. So we have to study the architecture as a new architecture of TMN known as the physical architecture. So let's start to understand the theoretical background behind it. Model for the TM and physical architecture is as shown where the physical block could be the embodiment of one or more blocks besides its equivalent function block. The meaning of this particular statement is if this is one of the physical block, for example, the Q adapter. But you can observe that there are multiple blocks of Q adapter are ready to work the function by the same time. So it is known as embodiment of one or more blocks besides six equivalent functional block. What is the equivalent functional block? You can say network element, then again Q adapter, again network element and so on. There are Operation system could have its operation function as well as meditation device which does the filtering, filtering the information. As we all are familiar with the work of all these blocks, these works are same as that of the functional architecture block. For example, meditation function block, what it will do? It will try to do the filtering of the data which comes from the operation block and which you require to transmit towards the other block. So that will do the same function. So in this way, there are five types of physical blocks representing the five functions. As we all know, the operation system are again there. It is connected to meditation device. See, as shown in the figure, operation system is there, which is going to connect with the meditation device function. And it will directly send the data to the other functions also, but via data communication network block. This is the difference between the functional architecture and physical architecture. As we are familiar with the functional architecture, what happened in that particular architecture that operation system OSF block can directly connect with meditation device block, which can directly connect with Q adapter, network elements and all that. But in the physical architecture, if we are going to observe, then there is an intermediate block which is going to add it. And that is known as the data communication network block because of which you can observe at both the side of the meditation device function block, there are DCN which are attached and to the DCN workstation is attached. That means the function of the DCN is an extra added element in this particular physical architecture. 
so now we have to first understand the function of this particular block which is known as the dcn block but before that we will discuss something the data communication network dcn is the physical implementation of dcf which to repeat is not a functional block but a tmn function the network element q adapter workstation reflects their respective tmn function the meaning of this particular thing is that this we cannot consider as a functional block if anybody ask us about the total number of physical blocks present in the physical architecture the answer will be 5 and the name of the block will be same as that of the functional block which is known as operation system block meditation device block q adapter block network element block and work session block but then what is the necessity of the dcn block the answer is the dcn is the representation of the function activities done by the tmn itself that means whatever the drawbacks we can get from the functional architecture if we want to overcome that all drawback then tmn is giving us the solution with the help of a block architecture which is known as the data communication network it is very much easy to understand why we are going to add dcn and specially why dcn is nearer to md that is meditation device block the answer is meditation device will do the functioning of filtering of the data md this block will do the detection and decision of the threshold level so these are the two main things which we have to consider while transporting the function or data from one block to other block and yes as we all know meditation device is able to do that and hence there is a necessity to attach the dcn block to the meditation device block it is very much simple to understand why md is covered from both the side by the dcn the answer is because of the exchange of the data in between the multiple elements with the help of filtering function as well as with the help of threshold detection function the and also there is one more advantage of md block that that is nothing but it can change the protocol protocol means what rules and regulations which are very much necessary to follow to make our network successful so this md can change the protocol from one block to other block and hence the data can transmit with the help of that particular protocol which is given by the md block so these are the all are the main functions which are done by the md block itself so dca should get connect with the md block okay and md block taking the data from osf operation system block and this will do the functioning of nms network management system which will try to monitor and control all the network elements which are present inside the network so os can replace the nms and hence the data we can achieved from the os and that data should get filtered that data should get detect and that data should get limited by the threshold level also that data can exchange their protocols with the help of md block and so that the dcn is attached to the md block now what about the interfaces the q f and x are the interfaces between the different type of devices these will try to represent the physical implementation of the respective tmn reference point here as shown we can observe there are few interfaces for example qx is the interface between the md and any okay like that q3 is the interface between the os 
and any or we can say between the OS and QA. So like that as shown in the figure there are multiple interfaces which we can use to connect the multiple blocks. So X is the interface between the operation system belonging to the different AMN. Different AMN means what? Different networks. So X is the interface as shown. This can connect the one of the network element which is present inside this network and same network element which is present outside the network. That is different type of TMN can get connect with the X. And what we can connect with the help of this X? We cannot connect the QA block. We cannot connect any block. Why? Because different type of NMS. NMS are nothing but the topmost block of a particular network. So NMS is going to be replaced by OS in this particular physical architecture and hence different type of OS only can get communicate or connected with the help of this X interface. So these are nothing but what functions of the different interfaces which are present over here. Now we uh, all know the function of the every block still we will try to revise them. OS can do the function of NMS that is monitoring and controlling of the data as well as network element. MD can do the filtering the data then uh, decide to the threshold level of the data and also it can convert the protocol of every data. After that uh, there is a network element. Network element includes all the manageable network element that means which can easily get monitored and controlled by the OS. So such kind of manageable network element can get decided inside the any and also their database that can be monitored and controlled by the any. After that Q adapter and workstations these are the two blocks which will do the functioning of converting the machine readable language into the human readable language and this is the main important function why we can communicate with the different type of layer and different type of architecture that if we require the data from that architecture and how can we communicate with them with the help of conversion of the language from machine to human readable language and that particular work can be done by the QA and workstation function. So DCN is the extra added element and uh, which is belongs to or which is connected to the meditation function and that is nothing but given one of the network element given by the TMN or developed by the TMN. So with the help of such kind of architecture we have to elaborate the function of each and every block along with the interfaces which we can use to connect that particular block. And like that we have to explain the physical architecture. So some of the theory I try to explain with the help of some slides. Let us have a look. So this all things we have already discussed but in the theoretical world we will again try to discuss. Operational system that means OS are embodiment of the TMN operation system function. This function is connected to MD via DCN. And DCN is the physical implementation of DCF which is repeat which can be used as a TMN function. Any that is network element, QA that is Q adapter, WS that is workstation. These reflects their respective TMN function. Q, F and X are the TMN interfaces between the devices represents the physical implementation of the respective TMN reference point. What it means by reference point? We are familiar with this particular term. The reference point means the thing which is going to use to connect the two different type of blocks together. So what are the reference points which are present inside this particular physical architecture? The answer is Q, F and X. For example, as shown in the figure, Q3 is the interface between OS and any network operation. X is the interface between OS belongs to the different TMNs. The meaning of belonging to the different TMN means belonging to the different networks. Okay. And F is the interface which is implemented to connect WS with TMN. WS means workstation function. So we have to use the F interface with workstation function to connect them with TMN. 
In this way, this is all about the physical architecture of TMN. Conclusion from the different architecture of TMN is: if we are going to compare the physical architecture of TMN with the functional architecture of TMN, everything is same. Even the works done by every block is same. Just the difference in addition of DC and block. And due to the addition of DC and block, the functional architecture is known as the physical architecture. Thank you so much for watching the video.